As an angelfish fan and keeper, this video will expose you to 15 different varieties of angelfish. Actually, one of the most popular fish breeds for indoor aquariums is the angelfish. Why are they so well liked? Most significantly, they come in a wide range of colors and varieties and are simple to maintain. Without further ado, let's discuss the most popular variety of angelfish. The first one we'll discuss is the zebra angelfish. That's because it's very possible that the majority of individuals who raise angelfish already have one or two of this variety in their tank. If taken care of properly, zebras can reach lengths of up to 10 inches. The female and male will look different from one another. If you decide to purchase any of these fish, a suitable tank is required. A 30-gallon aquarium is the bare minimum for a group of six or more. They spend the majority of their time swimming, which explains this. They won't feel comfortable in a smaller tank. Make careful to build up a warm water setting that closely resembles the habitat they would naturally inhabit. The earlier zebra kind of angelfish and the marble angelfish are substantially comparable. Its name comes from the fact that it can also have black, white, and yellow coloring in marbling patterns. The marble enjoys living in warm water conditions, just like the zebra does. However, since they flourish in slightly acidic water, it's preferable to keep it there. Additionally, a 30-gallon fish tank is needed to keep the aquarium cheerful, especially for marble groups of five or more. The veil, also known as a black veil angelfish, is the product of careful breeding over a 40-year period. It is black in hue, as its name would imply. Be warned that this kind of angelfish requires a fish tank that is at least 30 gallons in size if you decide to get one. This is necessary for adults in pairs as well as larger groups. Keep the temperature between 76 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit as well. The ones reared in captivity can be kept in water with a pH level of up to 7.8. You ought to fill the aquarium with plenty of rocks and driftwood if you want the veils to be content. The leopard angelfish was developed from a type of angelfish with similar patterning that was discovered in the Amazon River. Its name comes from the fact that it resembles a leopard in terms of both colors and overall appearance. Maintaining optimal tank conditions is crucial since, for example, poor lighting can cause fish patterns and colors to quickly deteriorate. The black lace angelfish is a more laid-back species that doesn't seem to enjoy being around noise. This type isn't an active swimmer, in contrast to the others that have already been named. The black lace angelfish prefer warm water that is between 75 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, just like the majority of their friends. But you need maintain the water at 78 degrees to make sure they are at ease in your tank. They will grow to be over 6 inches in diameter and 14 inches tall if everything is done correctly. Another variety that is raised in aquariums is the albino. In this form, the Amazon River does not include it. Their ancient ancestors were white and silver in appearance, with orange eyes, and they prefer to live in regions with a lot of plants and roots since these areas offered protection from larger predators as well as an abundance of food in the form of bug larvae and worms. Albinos should be kept alongside medium-sized fish. This is due to albinos' propensity to ambush and consume smaller fish. Due of their nature, you can also give them live and frozen food. But because they move so slowly, make sure everyone gets a share. The coloring of this angelfish is particularly distinctive from that of the others. It's obvious that the fish's body is all white except for a pair of flushed cheeks. The rest of its body is completely devoid of pigmentation. As with the previously described breeds from above, the water composition is the same for all. The water should be kept at a temperature of between 75 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Another veil angelfish, but this one has a gold coloring. The gold angelfish is most likely one of the most stunning fish in this video. You must consistently maintain the water parameters at the correct levels in order to ensure that they thrive in your aquarium. For example, the pH should be maintained between 6.5 and 6.9. 
and it must be between 76 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Because they are native to the Amazon River, gold angelfish require an aquarium with lots of plants, wood, and rocks. This angelfish is not the most colorful, as its name suggests. It does, however, appear beautiful. The smoky has patterns all over its body because of a deeper coloring. There is no symmetry at all in these patterns. They can range from completely black to gray in intensity. The fish's body will get more black coloring as it ages, and occasionally grow darker over time. Compared to earlier fish breeds, the Altum angelfish are a little bit more demanding. Why? This variety must be maintained in particular water conditions. For instance, the water should be warmer, between 82 and 90 degrees. Additionally, the pH level must always range from 4.8 to 6.2. This is crucial since the Altums won't thrive in environments with lower levels of acidity. Additionally, you must ensure that the water hardness stays below 5. Your Altums will live a long time and thrive happily in your aquarium if you follow all the rules. The blushing and gold angelfish from the recent breeds feature here are fairly similar to the koi angelfish. It combines elements from both. White makes up the most of the coloring, with golden accents on the head and jeans. Both boys and females reach an average size of 6 inches as they develop. The koi angelfish requires little maintenance, like the majority of other species. The appropriate distance makes it simple to maintain the water temperature and other variables. The minimum aquarium size for this breed, like the ones mentioned above, is 30 gallons. The silver is the angelfish to have if you want a well-liked fish in your aquarium. They are undoubtedly among the top three breeds of angelfish. What distinguishes them? Three stripes go through each silver's body, two through the body and one through the eye. Naturally, silver would be the color. The silver is one of the toughest fish available if you're looking for one that is simple to care for. In short, the silver angelfish is a fantastic option for novice aquarium hobbyists who don't yet have much expertise with fish maintenance. Every angelfish community should contain the platinum angelfish, a straightforward yet nonetheless stunning breed. Its body lacks any additional models or shapes and has a white or grayish appearance. The water temperature should be set between 76 and 84 degrees, like with other angelfish, for simple maintenance. The pH ranges from 6.5 to 6.9, and if properly cared for, you may have them in water with a pH as high as 7.8. More than one specific breed is included in the category of ghost angelfish. There are many different kinds of ghosts that you can purchase, but the grey ghost angelfish is the most common and well-liked. With no additional models on the body, this version is simply grey. Although some of them might have stripes as they age, this isn't always the case. The previous platinum pairs incredibly nicely with the ghost angelfish. They are quite similar in appearance and do not negatively affect one another. When it comes to appearance, clowns are undoubtedly the most unpredictable. There are never two clown angelfish that are the same. The majority of a clown's body is covered in various shapes that vary from clown to clown. The forms are primarily black in color, yet depending on their genetic makeup, orange may also occasionally be mixed in. There are a few things you need to watch out for if you intend to crossbreed different varieties of angelfish. Choose two species that aren't antagonistic toward one another first. To keep the two of them in good relations, this is crucial. They won't ever start mating if it happens. The conditions of the tank are the second thing to watch out for. You must maintain consistent water conditions when two fish are in the mating phase. The entire breeding process could stall if this isn't done properly. It's also ideal to set up a separate tank just for the pair of angelfish once they are ready. The fertile eggs near the bottom of the tank could be destroyed or eaten by other fish, which is a solid cause for it. Therefore, to avoid a situation like this, relocate the mating pair to a separate tank. Additionally, it is advised to remove the male fish from the aquarium after he has fertilized the eggs. 
He might even eat the eggs or the young. Be wary, then. The greatest angel fish for your aquarium is ultimately up to you. I just mentioned 15 distinct species to you. All of them are suitable for indoor fish tanks. The decision you choose will largely be influenced by your preferences. But one thing is certain, in the appropriate aquarium, they all look magnificent. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on our next video.